Hello everyone. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna make a tutorial on Mitsubishi AC controlling by ABB Take Tio Thermostat. Uh, and AC like all the AC are almost same. There is like there will be slightly difference, but most of them all are the same like even if it's a Mitsubishi AC something or whatever the ACs are the their way to control in the KNX are same so what I'm gonna do we're gonna have this kind of uh, ABB take your thermostat so the on off like the first button will be turning the AC on or and off it's not going to be AC on and up, it's going to be thermostat on and up. So when you when you turn it on, it will it will be ideally go to comfort mode. And when you turn it up, it will go to building protection or press protection mode. And then you can see the plus minus, it will increase and decrease the set point temperature. And the fan the fan we should be able to control the fan speed from there so when you press the, the fan so the fan on the tech tail it will start blinking and then when you press plus it will increase the fan speed and when you press minus it will decrease the fan speed so the fan is actually selecting the fan speed feature and then you will be able to control it plus and minus and if you didn't press on the fan then when you press plus and minus it will do the set point temperature so this is we're gonna use this uh, gateway it is a old one the new one is like they have a different type of gateway where you can connect uh, 15 and then like they can have 15 AC and it's like something uh, you can connect with the uh, AC system straight away without loss of wire so I'm just gonna do this one uh, and I'm not going into the, I'm not gonna do the new one I might do it in another, another video but I'm not gonna do that right now okay let's go back to the programming okay so I have already added I have created the group addresses here which is already on the group address is already there I have created the group addresses I have added this uh, ABB RTC and then AC interface as well so the first thing is if you go to the param parameters of this device what I need is uh, click here in the mode configuration I have enabled this mode uh, enable mode cool slash heat object and because what I want to do is uh, when the RTC I'm going to link this with the RTC cool uh, heat and cool status and it will automatically set the AC to heat and cool mode so in here I have this will turn on the AC so AC on and off which is Mitsubishi AC on and off and then the status of the AC it will tell us whether the AC is on or off a pressing mode I'm not I'm gonna link it here but in this uh, case we don't need to use this this operating mode actually mean is uh, whether you wanna you want this to be in auto heat cool fan or dry which is the modes of AC so I will link it but I'm not gonna use it uh, I'm not gonna control this by the RTC I'm gonna control this through the simplest object heat and cool mode like we have here so I'm gonna link this one here which will if I send 0 to here it will go to the cooling mode and 1 with it will take it to the uh, heat mode and the same thing status here now the fan speed 
I want to send, uh, I want to control the fan speed through like the percentage value, one byte value. So I don't need to worry about linking these all the other object. So I will link this fan speed. So we have three fan speed, which is, that is the fan speed and the status of the fan speed is here. So this will be the status of the fan speed. Set point temperature. What temperature we want to achieve, like what we're going to send to the, to the AC unit. So here we have in the AC, this is control set point temperature, which is actually set point temperature. And this we're telling the AC whether we want the room to reach to 21 degree, 30 degree or whatever it is. And the return, this is status of set point. If someone changed the AC through their remote, so we will know like what was the status of the AC, uh, set point status. Status group, uh, status error. So I don't need that uh, status group error, error. And I think so. I need to, uh, we don't need this one error code. We don't have, and I don't need this error code. I'll delete this one. No. Need to delete this one only. Okay, and return AC temperature is, this will be return temperature from the AC which is, uh, which will tell you whether the room is hot or cold. It's just like what the AC think, what's the current temperature is. That will be the AC temperature. We might be able to send, uh, let me see, because Temperature configuration is ambient temperature reference to provide mechanics. So I think we need to enable this as well because as we are controlling everything from the, the so the control ambient temperature. I'll need to create another group address which would be Let's do this one. Uh, that is return AC temperature. I need to tell the AC what the temperature is. This will be like what's temperature we are reading on the thermostat itself. This will be room temperature. Room temperature. This one because the AC otherwise the AC temperature will be different from the room thermostat like the temperature we are measuring on the RTC it will be different uh, from that what's the AC there will be difference between the AC temperature and the room thermostat temperature so which will cause a problem so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the thermostat temperature to the AC and then the AC will ignore it will adjust themselves to that temperature like ideally it changed the set point of the uh, of the AC automatically uh, there will be you will need to uh, I will not link the status we might I need to remove this one because uh, if you go to the AC set point status, okay, I will not link that. That's fine. I will not link the thermostat status like uh, from the RTC. So now in the RTC, I'll go to the con configuration. One thing, it's, it's a bit tricky one because we have one bit control on and off. And when you set this RTC, take tier one, it not give you an option for the fan coil unit like for the fan control you can't set that to one you can't have a one byte uh, one bit value so it's going to be a tricky one i will use the additional heating uh, to achieve that so in the button configuration left 
I want it on and off. And this one I want fan speed. So the right button is fan speed. And plus minus automatically it will do. You can't change that. Now what we have here is we have uh, heating and cooling with additional. This is what we need to select here. And we have like operating mode after reset is comfort. That's all additional object we don't need. So this is two point control and this one additional heating we want is as a fan coil units. Yeah. But there is one thing which I need is okay. And then for the cooling, this is we wanna leave it exactly. Let's take this up there. So I want this, I don't think I need to do anything about the uh, and in here this will be also fan coil unit and that is that's it and operating mode after reset is cooling uh, heating is fine so control output control value heating and cooling we are two object uh, no I want it we are one object which is fine and output control value of additional heating and cooling well I'm not going to use this but let's set it as a uh, one bit object as well but I'm not going to use that one now here what we have is this is just the set point display actual set point yeah and that's all change three degree this is you can set the limits like whether you want it uh, like let's suppose the set point best set point is 21 degree then it will go up to 24 and minus 3 is 18 degree so the range will be from 18 to 24 you can you can increase that by if you can change it to 5 degree but I'm gonna leave it exactly like this I'm not changing that temperature reading internal temperature reading and after sending after 15 minutes so that might okay I can change this you can then change this to five minutes so it will transmit the temperature after five minutes operating mode uh, for fault it's heating control value for fault is 25 I'm not sure what is this but we probably need to read more about that okay now fan coil you know what? so how many we have uh, three stages format of stage 0 to 5 I think so we need this one this byte value we need this and uh, position only for one operation evaluate status you don't need to link this one uh, because I did try to link this in one of my job and I was struggling to get the status right so just leave it like that fan coil heating so 50 100 and 150 that is fine and in here is RTC like the color of the RTC but leave it like that I'm not changing that okay so let's go to link that to the group addresses so I'm gonna hide take this back to normal how it was I'm gonna hide this so the control value uh, for the RTC for heating and cooling I'm gonna link this with the AC on and off and then I don't need to link this one actual temperature what's the temperature uh, RTC is reading so I'm gonna read I'm gonna link this with the room temperature on oh, this one I need to remove this one status this is the status room current temperature the room current temperature now 
we have set point temperature the output of the set point we need to link this with the control temperature set point operating mode whether you want to link it or not but i think we don't need to link it we are not using it right now this one is important uh, that is switch your so you have to link this with the heat and cool because it's gonna tell the ac whether to be in heat mode or cool mode now this is this is for let's see this one is so this is this is fan speed percentage value and this is you need to link this with the output of the fan speed ideally you still need to uh, make sure it is actually working on the site like I haven't tested this uh, this device like I haven't tested this uh, I haven't commissioned this like like this uh, so you got to make sure it does work so I think so actual temperature for temperature adjustment you don't need that um, additional stage you don't need that ideally I'm at like if you click here you see this is this is percentage value which is ideally used for the fan coil unit like when you have a wall uh, on the FCU so you control the wall how how much it need to be open like whether it need to be five percent open ten percent fifty percent or hundred percent but in this case we don't have a wall we just have a compressor which is on and off so that's why it's not like a straightforward thing i just kind of make sure it work like you you are able to control the fan speed and you can also adjust the set point so that's all uh, do let me know if you have any comments or you have any feedback or you think what i'm doing is not uh, you, or you have a better way to do it just let me know uh, okay again thanks for the watching and do let me know if if you think uh, there is a better way of doing it I will be uh, very pleased to know about that as well.